Hey everyone, welcome back to lesson four of the North Rockland Central School District Digital Portfolio for English classes grades seven through 12. Um, in the previous videos, we've learned about the importance of a digital presence, an intro to Google Drive, and then how to actually begin your site. So today we're gonna continue that and go through how to embed images again, and then how to add a page and to embed your documents that your teachers will be asking you to embed as part of your portfolio. So let's get to it. So you're gonna to go to your folder where your digital portfolio is housed and you're gonna click on your file for digital portfolio. So here we go. We're at the About Me page just as we left it, but we didn't embed images here. So to review again, you click the plus sign because of the layout we did, it's pretty easy to do. Click plus. You're gonna click, uh, click select image if you have something saved already. Or you can click upload if you have something saved on your computer. So I'm going to click select, select image. And from here, you have different options. If you have something on Google Drive already, you can use some of that. If you have an image that you search for on the internet and you have the URL of it, you can paste the URL here. You can do a Google image search right here. So you can search for whatever you want to do. Or if you have a Google photo album, um, you can take it from there. So I'm going to go to Drive because that's what I have here. And I'm going to go find one for National Honor Society, since that's the club and activity. And this is the National Honor Society from last year, the seniors. So I'm going to embed that. So now I'm going to do the same thing for sports. I'm going to click the plus sign. I'm going to pick select image. And for this one, since it's baseball, I'm going to go to an image search, since I don't have anything. And I'm just going to type the word baseball or whatever I want to uh, pick. And I'm going to find a picture that I really like. Um, so I'm going to scroll. Oh, this one looks nice. So I'm going to take that one. Okay. And then I can position it how I want just by double clicking on the, on it and clicking yes. So now I have my baseball and then my favorite book, uh, which again was my daughter's select image and go to Google search. And I'm going to click dear Evan Hansen. Let's try to play both since it's not a book. And none of it came, so I'm going to take Ben Platt and put it there. So now I have a About Me page with images and um, all filled out. And obviously, you will do more in the About Me section. Your teacher will give you some guidance on what he or she wants um, and go from there. So now we have our About Me page. But now we're going to get to the real purpose of the portfolio which is to showcase your work and your growth. So what you're gonna do is to, you're going to add a page. Okay, so we're gonna add a page um, right here that says pages. So we're gonna click over to pages. And you'll see you just have the home page right now. So what we're going to do is we're gonna click the plus sign. And when you hover over it, not even click, hover over it, you get either a new link or a new page. So now I'm gonna click the plus sign and I'm going to put the grade that I'm in. So for me, this is an English portfolio. So English. Now I'll say I'm in 10th grade, but if you're in seventh grade, you put seven, eighth grade, eight. So, and so on and so forth. So English 10, I click done. And now it has quickly created a page for me entitled English 10. And this will be the page where I embed all of my work this year for English class. Okay. So I go back to the insert. And now the first thing I'm going to want to do is introduce um, the year and the class that, that I have English 10. So for this, we're going to make it very simple. You're going to click text box. And that brought up a box across the way. We're going to change the, the text type to title. And we're going to put it in the center by hovering over the alignment button and clicking here. So I'm going to put um, 2020, 2021 school year. I'm going to hit enter. Now you'll notice it defaults to normal text again, and it brings it back to the left. So I'm going to click this again. And instead of the title, I'm going to put heading, and I'm going to bring it back to the center. And I'm going to put my teacher's name. So if you have Mrs. May, you put Mrs. May. If you have... Um, Mrs. Dufek Varrier, you put Miss Dufek Varrier. If you have Mr. Anderson, Mr. Anderson. 
So I'm going to say I have Mr. Armida. I'm partial to that guy. All right. So that's what we have to do there. So from here on in, this is about embedding your work. So we're going to pick a layout since there's four, since there's one quarter, one assessment that you're going to upload each quarter at minimum. For each assessment, you're going to go to this first layout button right here. You're going to click it. And now it adds your a place to add the document and a place to describe. So if I was if my first assessment was a narrative essay, I would write this here. And then underneath here is a place for reflection. So you write, I wrote my narrative essay because and the reasons why. Things I liked about it were, were things I could improve upon were, blah, blah, blah. And obviously, you're writing multiple sentences here. And then um, you can talk about process. You can talk about anything your teacher gives you to include in this little analysis here. Okay, so that's your narrative essay. Now, the essay is not there, though. So what you do is you click the plus sign. And now this time you click from Drive. So now Drive comes up, and now you want to find the folder where your work is located. For a lot of you, this is going to be in Google Classroom, your classroom folder, okay, where you will click on it, click on the class you're in, and find the document and assignment. Since I am not in a Google Classroom, I will go into another folder of mine. I'll go into my teaching folder, and I will find something that I want to upload into that. So say this is my essay that I want to upload. I click it. I click Insert. And now my essay, my actual Google Doc, is in embedded into this, this frame. So if someone were to click on my portfolio and say, let me see what this person wrote. They can click right on it and it'll give them the option to open it up in a new tab. So again, to summarize, the title of your unit assessment, a reflection piece of it, which you'll be given guidelines on what that reflective piece should be, and then um, embedding your content. So let's do that one more time. So we have unit one done. Let's say at the second quarter, it's time for the next unit. So I will click the text box. Now, rewind. I will click the layout button. There we go. OK. I will put the, the assessment piece here. Let's just say it was a, um, a Google Slides argument. And let's say I can spell. Let's say I can spell again. See, everyone, spelling mistakes happen. Okay? And then the same reflection piece here. Here, um, what it was about, um, what you liked about it, what you didn't like about it, how the process worked, things like that. And then same thing here. You hit the plus sign. Go to Drive. Most likely, you're finding your file rate right in Classroom. Okay? I'm going to my file where I have things. I'm going to go to my folder that has things. And I'm going to embed my slide presentation. And it embeds just like this. So as it's going through, um, people can actually play it on, on your site. Once you're done embedding, again, you'll look up here, make sure all changes are saved. And you are good to go. So today. You learned how to add a page to your uh, digital portfolio. We reviewed how to embed images. And we reviewed the process in which we um, set up each um, assessment that we are going to do. Thank you for listening. We have one more tutorial to complete this, and we will do that uh, tomorrow.